is Jay! Welcome back to the channel. So guys, a brand new wave of Masters of the Universe figures has been found in the wild of California. This comes mere weeks after the announcement made by our friends over at Geek Dad Life and so many other wonderful toy tubers around YouTube. Guys, this is absolutely crazy. Let's take a deep dive to this. And if you enjoy this type of content, guys, please consider subscribing to the channel. I post up to two episodes a week, and I hope you guys enjoy. And don't forget to hit that bell notification so you guys will always know when new episodes are posted. Guys, let's have a look at this and see which figures were found in California, of all places. This is absolutely amazing. Let's have a look. Guys, I wanted to give a huge shout out to friend of the channel, James, who gave me the heads up on this. James is always on top of anything Motu because he's just such a great fan. James, thank you so much for this heads up, brother. I really do appreciate it. James showed me some of the new waves that have been solicited by Mattel that have shown up at a retailer in California. Oh my gosh, guys, this is exciting. Heading over to Facebook, the first image I wanted to show you guys is an image which also showed up on my radar from the Canada Masters of the Universe Collectors Group. They're a wonderful collector group for Masters of the Universe, of course, Canadian. And guys, if you are looking to connect with other Master Universe fans, definitely head over to the Master Universe Collectors Group. Great mentality, and of course, they do like to share the collections, photos, and do trades and of course sell some of their collections as well. Give them a like and a follow, tell them that Jay sent you. Scrolling down, we see that Bryce Graham has found something very, very special and he goes on to say that Paul's Mart is killing it with the early releases. This is crazy, take a look guys, yes! Is that what we actually see? Oh my goodness, guys. Is that Duplico that we see there? Oh my goodness, everybody. I can't believe it, apparently Paul Mart has actually had a shipment of Duplico figures. He also seems to have the first three figures of Wave 13, Slamurai, King Randor, and Snake Tila, and he even picked up a second Duplico for himself. Very smart. This is amazing. Wow, this is interesting. It looks like Paul Mart's store uh, has their own shipping boxes from Mattel. Huh, that's really interesting. Very, very unique. I'm very surprised to see something like that uh, in the works. And I'm wondering if they have some sort of inside connection with Mattel. The reason why I'm bringing this up is because James, who I mentioned earlier, showed me their Facebook page. And if we scroll down, we can actually see the very first set of images that were posted today, about five hours ago. Is that what I think it is? Oh, it is Point Dread and the Talon Fighter in the wild. What? What are we looking at here, guys? Let's take a, a, a let's let's zoom in and see exactly what we're looking at. Wow! Holy crap, everybody! There it is in a retail store. Holy crap! Seventy dollars U.S. This is not the, uh, the <laughs> this is this is not the mega version of the Talon Fighter. This is the Talon Fighter and Point Dread. Oh my god, this is amazing. It's it says that it's unassembled. Here it is, just sitting on a shelf in California. I can't believe this, everybody. This is absolutely insane. Holy crap. I am over the moon with this. Oh my gosh. And look, beside him, it's Grizzlor for $25. And it looks like they have a whole bunch of them here. Wow. Scrolling down further, we can see, oh my gosh, they have a hero there. What is going on? This, this place is loaded. Holy crap, everybody, what an amazing find in the wild. It appears to be the entire new wave of Masterverse figures. Let's take a look and zoom in on this, guys. Holy crap, everybody, there they are in the boxes. Oh, this is crazy. We see Grizzlor, New Attorney of Faker, Buzz Off, and Classic Merman. Holy crap, oh my goodness. This is insane. Now, these boxes have actually been shown off by uh, Canal dos Rosmeros on their uh, their Instagram page, uh, but they've been glam shots. We've never actually seen anything in a store and, and a real life setting. This is amazing. Each of these figures has been priced at twenty five dollars each. That's like that's a great price. I'm super amazed at, at at what I'm seeing here, guys. This is incredible, and we finally get our first glimpse of retail. Uh, you know of these figures hitting retail stores. I think it's proof positive now, especially with this, that this, these, these figures are 100% real and they're actually hitting stores as we speak. 
Huge thanks once again to James for sending me these photos. Wow, this is just incredible. I love the fact that Grizzlor has his fur coat. That just kills me. I'm so, so happy that they figured out a way to actually, uh, you know, put it on top of him without actually making it, you know, a, a sealed coat. That way we have the options. You know, he has he has, he has the, the uh, plastic version underneath and he has the furry, the furry version on top. So great. We can see him here with his crossbow attachment and the blast effect. And of course his swappable hands and that wonderful axe. Absolutely nuts. There's Faker, and he looks amazing. Classic, classic Faker with the red hair. The more fuchsia-inspired uh, straps. Uh, that, that orange axe, which actually has a tip of silver on, 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 the, on the one corner. Oh my gosh. That power sword, which looks like it's been you know, hammered together by different bits and pieces of, of other uh, you know, um, pieces of metal. Oh, man, it's it just... The just positioning of of, of, uh, of all these pieces just really embody the idea of a Frankenstein type of idea, which Skeletor pieced together and, you know, created a new, or his own version of He-Man. This is amazing. I love the, uh, now the, 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 the picture is a little bit uh, washed out, but I do love the way the colors uh, appear on this version of Faker. I'm super excited about this. Holy crap. New Attorney of Faker, everybody. Alongside him is New Eternia Buzzoff. Now, looking at him from the solicitation photos, it was a little bit interesting uh, seeing the new designs for his wings, and of course that helmet, which is also translucent, uh, much like the way his wings are. But now we see that he has this, uh, you know, interesting strap-like uh, apparatus. I wonder if that's actually what's holding his wings together. That's amazing. Uh, it seems to be a little bit loose on this side. I wonder if you can tighten that up. Probably, since uh, most straps for the Master Universe are removable. Uh, he has the wonderful signature claws, which are probably shared uh, with Clawful at some level. Uh, but I love the, along with the legs, they look amazing. Uh, I love this, you know, obviously he's got the furry loincloth and what appears to be some side skirts, uh, which are borrowed from another character, I can't remember right now. He looks amazing. Now, a lot of people are sort of weirded out a little bit by his new head sculpt with the, uh, with the B line, you know, the singular line of, of, a, of a mouth. I don't really mind it, I think it's okay. The other, the other uh, face was a little bit more you know, um, sculpt it out uh, for in terms of like a facial, actual face, but I really don't mind this. It, it li really looks more insect-like and really gives him uh, a unique appearance uh, outside of every other Master Universe character. Love it. M Master Universe New Eternia, buzz off. But the one that's really doing it for me, yes, 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 yes. Classic, classic Merman, everybody. Wow. He's looking so great here. Again, he's got his lobster-like armor he's got that <laughs> corn on the cob sword oh amazing so glad we're getting this back into the collection i love it he's got two sets of additional swappable hands uh one is open looks like the other ones are clasped and fists oh man this is amazing uh everything else looks like he's adorned with seaweed and of course his signature uh shin pads love it oh my gosh guys now this is the appearance of Merman as he appeared in Master Universe Revelations. So I'm super excited that we're getting this because he's got both of his eyes, everybody. Sick. I'm loving it. Oh my goodness. Uh, doing a quick scan around here. It doesn't seem to be that there are any other uh, figures that haven't already been released. Uh, we can see Horde Troopers here. We can see Naked Stratos. We see the traditional version of Buzz Off uh, in the Origins line. I believe that's Ante Eternia He Man. Um, we see Jitsu here, Sun Man, scrolling down further. Uh, oh, they do have a Shadow Weaver. That's very, very nice. That's excellent. Love the fact that she's available as well. We do see another um, uh, Jitsu here, who at one point was uh, a timed exclusive on Amazon. So great to see him in, in this collection. And we also see Pig Head here. Another wonderful addition to the line. These have been slow to show up at multiple locations like Target and Walmart. Up here in Canada, we haven't seen hide nor hair of any of these just yet. But scrolling over, oh, Walmart still has some hero figures. Oh my goodness. This is crazy. And they're still priced at what appears to be $25. That's amazing. Guys, if you are in the California area and you know Walmart, they've got some crazy stuff right now and it looks absolutely stunning i can't believe all of the new stuff that they've actually got in store and of course 
this really is proof positive that the line is not going anywhere in 2023. This is absolutely amazing. Huge thanks to James. Brother, you just made everyone's day. Oh my gosh, guys, this is crazy. This is absolutely nuts. Now, I am absolutely thrilled that this discovery has been found in California of all places, not Mexico, you know, not somewhere in Australia where, you know, certain other uh, toy related channels are saying that, you know, they end up in places where they're not supposed to be. No, this is right here in North America and in the United States, right where everyone was hoping they'd show up in California. Guys, this is absolutely exciting and I can't wait until they start coming into bigger box stores all around the country. This is gonna be great. Guys, what are your thoughts about this amazing find in California? Huge shout out to James again. Thank you so much, my brother, for uh, sending me those photos. That's absolutely amazing. I'm super excited about this huge find. Are you guys convinced now that the Master Universe isn't going anywhere in 2023 and that more figures are going to be showing up at bigger box locations? Are you going to put your money down for any of these figures or begin the hunt to try and find these in the wild, just like James here found on Facebook? Or are you kind of wondering where the Origins figures are? I mean, we did see the Talent Fighter, but everything else seemed to be a Masterverse figure. Guys, please leave those comments in the comment section below. Guys, if you enjoyed this episode, please do leave me a like. It really helps me out. And if you're in the position to help out the channel, please consider checking out my Patreon page. It's Mega J Retro on Patreon. Guys, the patrons of the channel help me make wonderful episodes every single week, and I couldn't do it without them. They are the best. Thank you so much for your support, everybody. It really means the world to me. Guys, I hope you're all doing well, staying safe. And as always, everybody, thank you very much for watching. <laughs> We have the power, everybody. We have the power. And Mattel, keep bringing us these amazing figures throughout 2023. Good journey, everybody. Keep proud. I want to give a huge shout out to all my Patreon and channel member supporters. Thank you so much, everybody. It's thanks to your support that this channel continues to grow. And I really could not have done this without you. You guys are the best. Thank you so much for your support, guys. It really means a lot and really helps the channel to keep growing.